Hey y'all, in this video I'll be doing a little comparison. I'll be comparing my Bottega, 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 Manetta, stretch mules or stretch sandals. Everything is a stretch sandal. Y'all know, stretch sandal with the Attico Divine Mules. So this is what they look like side by side. So. These are actually a recent acquisition. These aren't even my first purchased ones. I have some patent fuchsia ones. I tend to gravitate more towards are the patent leather ones than the leather ones. I don't know, I just like the patent leather. I just really like it. But these are actually my second color I purchased. I got the pink ones too, which my fashion haul might be up. If it is, I'll link it. But anyway, let's talk shoes because i love both of these okay so first let's talk about the bottega ones i have both i just wanted to i didn't want to hold up four shoes but i will hold these up so if i keep looking i'm looking for my food <laughs> should be here soon but anyway let's talk shoes so these are the bottega vanilla stretch sandals as you know they come in so many different colors make sure i don't flash y'all okay so these i cannot believe these things $950 now? Ooh, I didn't, pay for that. I didn't pay that much for these. What? That's how much they are now. These are $950 now. They come in different colors. They come in seasonal colors. They also come in different styles. If you want more of a padded front, they come in those. My true size is a 40 in Italian, but these are 41. So they do run snug in here. They're in small. Also with the Bottega Veneta heels, they have a square toe and it's a skinnier heel at the back. They also have their signature padding underneath the bottom that make them very comfortable to walk in for longer periods of time. And they're just overall chic. They're very classy. They're very classic. I find that they're a staple in my wardrobe. They work with anything. And I don't see these really going anywhere. People could argue that the square toe, you know, won't be in long, but I concur to a certain degree. I still like it though, so I'm still gonna wear it regardless. So those are the Bottega Veneta heels, or mules, stretch mules, stretch sandals. Okay, so these are the Devon mules from the Attico. They also have that square toe. They are killing my lighting. Ooh, look how bright and vibrant. Y'all know, you know this is what I live for. I live for color. They come in vibrant colors. We'll take another come in kind of muted colors, you know, but these come in vibrant colors. Oh my God. They don't have, they still have a label under the bottom. <laughs> they don't have any type of pattern under the bottom. So slightly, I'm not going to say slightly. We're going to get to that. They're comfortable to a certain ex extent, okay? They have this big, unique triangular platform on the back, which I really like. That's what drew me to these shoes. This funky, it's edgy. I love it. These also are not true size. I have to size up quite a bit with these. As you know, my Italian size, yeah, these are Italian, is a 40. These are 42. I find that the 41.5 also works. Barely, but it works. And my pink one is actually in the 41.5. These are 42. Perfect fit. Okay, price point of these, much lower than the Bottega Veneta ones. Let's talk about that. So the price is different based on where you get them from. Generally, they're anywhere between six and $700 for these. So yeah, price is a little cheaper than the Bottega version. Anyway, moving along. Comparison, the heel is much shorter for the Bottega heels, actually. Let me take a quick look at how tall the Bottega, I think 85 millimeters, that might be wrong. I know the Attico ones are 110. Let me see right quick. These are three and a half inches tall. These are four and a half inches tall. So an inch taller, I guess. It doesn't look like it, but it is. I guess. Okay. Also, these have a skinny heel. These have a triangular heel. Both of them have square toes. The Bottega one is much wider so much more of your foot can get through this one. And your toes are kind of hidden a little bit with the Attico because it's more narrow, you know, there. Also with the Attico, this is very narrow. This is also very narrow. That's why they're not true to size on me. And the heel is taller, so it's more uncomfortable too. And also with there being very little shoe or toe protection here, you could bust your ass much easier. I would do not recommend walking fast in these as a result. <laughs> this one is much thicker, so you have much more of your 
feet to grab with these than you do these. So I'm gonna want my slower knees, but they're not unbearable, uncomfortable. Only the Bottega version have the pattern on the bottom. Both of them are made in Italy. These come in much more vibrant colors, where these are more wearable. These might be more of a classic style than these, just because of the extreme edgy design that these have versus your typical skinny heel, you know? Okay, I feel like I'm doing this too much. Pro, there's not really much. Okay, I can talk pros. Pros, these have a padded bottom. They have more leather around the foot area than these. These are more comfortable than these. These also come in more wearable colors, even a color like pink. Like this pink is so wearable compared to a very vibrant color, even though this is wearable to me. But to most people, the neutral, more neutral muted colors work better from, you know, wardrobes and everything. Also, cons. These are expensive as hell. Not too expensive, they're still under $1,000 before tax. After tax, you pay it over $1,000 so since more than likely. All right, yeah, I think so. These are uncomfortable, <laughs> a little. Not unbearable, uncomfortable like Christian Louboutins, but uncomfortable. Also, this little leather piece here is thinner. So listen, when I say you gotta walk slower in these, you can't strut like you do in these. You gotta slow it down because you can topple over. Your foot can go like this easier, like this easier, like this, if you know what I mean. And this heel isn't as comfortable as this. Shockingly, I thought it would be, but I guess because it's like, I don't know. It's not as comfortable as this heel. Usually skinnier heels are more uncomfortable, but in this case, this one is more uncomfortable. Maybe it's because of the heel height, the fact that it's taller. Maybe if it were three and a half inches like the Bottega version, these would be more comfortable. Who knows? Other cons. The Bottega version is much easier to get than the Attico. With these, these sell out very quickly, the colors that I've noticed especially in the bigger sizes. So demanding. I saw these and immediately grabbed a 42 because I know 42 is not common with these to be still available. The smaller sizes are more available in the bigger ones. And lo and behold, when I went back a couple of days later, the 42, 41, the 40, all completely gone, completely sold out. They remind me kind of of the Amina Moati heels. They sell out super fast. You gotta get your size when you see it. Same with these. Overall, great. Both great shoe options to have. I don't regret either purchase. I love my Bottega heels. I have multiple colors. I have two colors in these. I can see myself getting more colors than this just because of the vibrancy of the shoes. I cannot wait to style those. Oh my gosh. I already have a couple of looks in mind. Double denim look with a pop of neon, you know, I don't know, black, a monochromatic look, greens. So many ideas. Let me know if y'all own either of these, how you feel about both of those, whether you would buy them, all of that. I'll leave another video here in case you missed it. Talk soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.